Hey guys, Mike the Game and Dad here, and welcome back to the channel. Episode 3 of the Survival Mode Let's Play, and we ended episode 2 just outside Oostengrav, about to start the quest to retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. So let's get into it. Oh, looks like this bandit's having a really bad day. And his day's about to get a lot worse because we're going to strip him naked. Start in episode 3 by stripping bandits naked. <laughs> Why change the habit of a lifetime? Uh, I am going to play in first person actually. Uh, it was requested by someone in uh, the last the comments for the last video um, but I was considering doing it anyway because I think we were having a bit of problems weren't we with the uh, the camera in third person being a bit prohibitive sort of behind the shoulder so yeah we'll uh, we'll progress with this and we'll kind of see how we get on I am going to um, do quite a bit of sneaking as well in this episode um, I feel like we've not really been doing as much as I probably should have done and our level's probably quite low because of it and um, we do want our sneak skill to um, sort of level with us because it is quite an important skill especially for the sort of playstyle I'm going for a couple of dead bandits here, it's quite ominous I am looking forward to doing this episode actually because I don't really remember Oostengrav that well. It's been a while since I've done this quest. Um, so it should be quite interesting actually. I feel like I'm I'm playing it for the first time in a while. I'm sure it'll come back to me as we kind of get through it, but yeah, I couldn't really remember it when I was thinking of it earlier. It's two down. How has she not seen that? Trying to get a headshot here. There we go. I've got another dead bandit here, which we need to undress. Uh, we don't want your shield or your shoes, but we will take your clothing. And probably make Lydia carry it later when we have about 15 fur armors. Uh, that was weird. Did not mean to pick you up, Mr. Drauger. I just want your gold. Lydia's like, what are you doing? You feel warmer and are now comfortable. Well, that's good at least. Uh, we are going to take all these robes as well because they are very valuable. Uh, there does seem to be quite a lot of bandits in this location there. They've not, uh, they've not had a good time against these uh, conjurers, haven't they? Is that a? I thought that was a skill book there. Uh, how are we doing um, food-wise, actually? I wonder if we are hunger, uh, we are drained but we are well fed so we're doing alright at the minute. It looks like we got some blood on these stairs. Uh, there's, not, there's normally a body. Should, should there be a body here or something or? Guess not. Does sound like the uh, uh, yeah the Draugr are uh, killing the rest of the conjurers. Come on, Lydia, take care of him.
Uh, they didn't fare very well, these uh, mages, did they? They didn't get very far. Uh, I think they're all gone now, so we can get out of sneak mode. Oh, Lydia, we have some Nord mead, some wine, and what is this? Black Briar mead. Have a few uh, meads later, Lydia. Get Lydia drunk. Ah, uh, there's a um, there's a couple of rooms here with uh, like full of urns. Um, if you complete the No Stone Unturned quest, which I do actually have a guide on, if you're ever interested in it, uh, it's quite quite a long quest. Um, but if you complete it, you get the Prowler's Profit perk, which um, it basically in massively increases your chance of finding rare treasure. I think it says, but what it actually does is. For every urn or chest or pot that you you loot, you just get a lot more gems, and, and I mean a, a lot, like literally everything you open will probably contain two or three. So like you come to this location and every single one of these, one will have like a ruby and a diamond in it, the next will have like an emerald and two garnets, um, the next might have like a flawless diamond, um, by, by, by the end you can be absolutely loaded basically. I did actually come to this location to test it out and by the end I had like 10, 12 of everything and then I went around every town and just couldn't seem to sell it all because I just had that much. It's a, um, it's a shame that you get that, by the time you get that perk at the end of that quest, unless you do it like straight away you probably don't actually need it by that point. Gold um, in Skyrim, it it's it is useful, but the economics in the game it it kind of quickly becomes worthless because you, you, it's so easy to acquire so much of it. Um, it's a shame, really, that I think that it happens because that quest is it's it is a mammoth task. So to get something at the end of it that you don't end up needing that much I don't think I think it's a, it's a bit of a shame really but I quite I, I like getting it if you're a bit of a completist like me it's worthwhile doing it um, it is pretty br busted like I say like every single one of these will just be full of gems and ring rings and things if you like crafting it's good because you can just make loads of like diamond rings Restoration book, we'll take that, that's pretty nice, thank you. Is that nearly all of them done? Quite a few rings out of these actually, which is uh, quite nice. So we'll have lots of stuff to sell later. And we are picking up a lot of potions as well, which is good because uh, we'll probably need them at some point. I think there is a, is there a little secret, there is a secret room somewhere early on in this dungeon, I remember, uh, we don't want you but we will take all of this gold, uh, am I going to pick it all up one by one, you bet I am, because we raid everything, uh, I didn't want the mug that we picked up though, tankard, no, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's here actually, isn't it? Yeah, just behind this uh, hidden door. I can't actually remember what's down here, but I did remember that there was something here. Uh, no, it's just a chest, but we'll get it anyway. Uh, what have we got? Not actually that much, actually, but... Oh well. Does anyone else with their follower? Um, obviously Lydia's at the start she's just wearing like pretty standard sort of steel armour, steel sword, shield and that. Um, does anyone else like kit them out in just like the best gear? Like by the end like she'll be wearing like full Daedric armour and just be an absolute tank. I think that is the uh, the ultimate aim, isn't it? Get Lydia in Daedric armor, and then just let her loose.
Oh, that was weird. The arrow didn't even fire then. We've got another one here. Yeah, we have two. They're going for a chat. What is going on with these arrows? It's like they're getting stuck or something. Come on, Lydia, take him down. There we go. Oh, an amethyst. Pretty nice. I think that's everything, isn't it, in this room? Yeah. We'll progress on. I don't think we need to be in sneak mode currently. I think everyone is now gone. Fire arrows. I think we will uh, take them. Houston Grav Depths. Ah, oh, yeah, you get your first little glimpse of the uh, dungeon below down here. Quite nice, actually. You can see some uh, skeletons wandering around <laughs> just down there. Well, Lydia, finish him off. <laughs> Just bash him with a shield. I think, uh, yeah, there's a that bridge, like so along here, like is where you uh, progress to basically carry on through the dungeon. There is actually another path that leads down this way, down there, and there's a little uh, word wall down there as well, which we will get. And I think. If I remember, there's also a little secret passageway just behind that waterfall, uh, which we will make sure we get as well. Wonder if the can't really see the skeletons from here. There's one just down there, so we might be able to take him out from here. Do we get him? No, I think we just missed. Probably fired over his head. He's like, where's that gone? There's another one that. Did that one just run through those, that fire and just get burned? Oh, he's down there now. We might be able to get him. That's no, just a bit too far. Oh well. Right, oh, pressure plates. Just run through those. Did actually try and jump them, but it didn't work for some reason. Been spotted by the uh, Draugr already. Got him. Did anyone play the um, the Last of Us? By the way, uh, it was quite a few years old now. Why does it not let me pick that arrow up? There we go. All right, well, for some reason, it will not let me pick that arrow up. Um, yeah, it came out quite a few years ago. It's probably about ten years, I'd say. Um, yeah, one of my one of my favourite games actually. That um, I completed it quite a few times uh, on. I think it first came out on the PS3 and then I think they remastered it for the PS4. Yeah, the there's a TV series based on it now. Um, and it, to be honest, it follows the game pretty closely. 
here in the UK, the first episode came out about two weeks ago, and then the second one was la- this week, um, and then the third one will be out on Monday. Um, it's Saturday evening here that I'm filming this, so a couple of days away. Uh, and I'm I, yeah, I'm pretty hooked already, to be honest. Um, I love the game because it follows it so it's following it so closely at the minute. It's just sort of taking me back a little bit to when I used to play it. And like even the dialogue, some of the dialogue has been pretty, pretty similar. Uh, if you're not, um, I mean, if you liked the game and you played the game, I'd, I'd highly recommend it. But even if you've not, if that genre is something you're into, I would um, highly recommend watching it. And then you might get into the the game. I don't know. I quite, uh, I mean, I've liked sort of like, I guess. I would say zombie games for um, since I was younger like I played I grew up playing things like Silent Hill and Resident Evil probably th- things that are probably not suitable for uh, children but I, def- I was definitely playing them before I was 18 put it that way um, but what I liked about The Last of Us was it it sort of even though it was that sort of like zombie post apocalyptic kind of world it it sort of played out quite a bit different. I think it wasn't just like a shooter. It was it was more about your um, your decision making in terms of like resource management. I guess it, and it's in a similar way to to how survival mode operates in in Skyrim. You just it's just a lot more extreme. Like you you literally find nothing. You, know, you might find like glue or tape or things like that. And um, yeah like you can you you might have to use them at some point so if you use them too early or you waste them you might end up sort of regretting it and i quite like that about it um and it's also even though it's like a i mean it is an rpg and there is combat but it's almost pl- plays out in that you've got to really you only use combat as a last resort in some areas like you go through it almost trying to actually physically avoid the enemies because like they are a lot stronger than you are. Like if they get hold of you or, or grab you, like you're pretty much dead in in one hit. So yeah, it was quite uh quite different to anything else I'd play. I'd played, put it that way. And um, so yeah, I did really enjoy it. Um, what do you reckon to a would you would you enjoy a, a Last of Us uh, Let's Play series or something along those lines? I will eventually play other games, by the way, um, other than Skyrim. I do eventually, kind of where I'm higher hoping the channel goes to is I can keep it going. Um, where is that Draugr off to? I want to kind of keep it going up to the Elder Scrolls 6 and then eventually sort of transition onto that, but knowing Bethesda, that could be years away. It's probably more likely that it, that it is literally going to be years until that's game, that game's released, so... Yeah, there will, I will play other games. But yeah, the, the Last of Us could be quite fun. I never actually played the second one, actually. I was really looking forward to the second one. And, yeah, the... I can't remember if it was one of the trailers I watched, or like a gameplay video, but... It, I don't know, it just really put me off. I think it was... It just seemed like extremely gory but like took it to just like a real new extreme like I know I said I played like Silent Hill and Resident Evil and things which are gory games and especially Silent Hill like that is quite dark but I don't know it, yeah there was something about I should probably give The Last of, Last of Us 2 a chance really but yeah there was something about what I watched it just put really put me off and I actually never 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 bothered getting into it I think I ended up playing Red Dead Redemption 2 instead, um, which is another series that I absolutely love, by the way. Um, I've played both 1 and 2, loved them both, invested a lot of time into into those, especially the first one. Uh, I didn't have kids back then, um, so I could yeah play a lot more than when, uh, when I was playing 2. My old, my old, what is now my oldest was a lot younger then, so didn't have as much time to play 
yeah, what uh, what um, series, what games are you into? Uh, for me, it's always been mainly RPGs. Never really been into sports games that much. Um, I kind of grew out of things like FIFA quite early. And yeah, I used to play when I was younger, like COD and Battlefield and um, Counter Strike, obviously, when that was a thing. Um, but yeah, first person shooters are, I have not played properly for, for years. Absolutely years. Uh, my nephew plays uh, Fortnite, and it's quite funny actually because I probably only could play, play it with him two or three times a year and so I like I'd, I always literally forget the controls because it'll be like six months between me playing it um, and then he's like we'll, we'll do we'll do like a co-op and we'll finish and it'll be like I'll have like one kill and two deaths and he'll be on like no deaths and ten kills and he's like eight it's quite amusing actually how much better at it than me he is obviously he plays it a lot more These are all these are all pressure plates, they really are, aren't they? Um, but yeah, for me, it's, it's yeah, pretty much RPGs are what I play exclusively now. Um, yeah, Red Dead Redemption, the, like obviously the Elder Scrolls, uh, GTA, I guess a little bit. Although I've not played that for a while, I, I kind of love those those games. Um, yeah, is there anything I should kind of check out? or anything you've played that you think would be good or you'd be interested in seeing on the channel, just uh, let me know. Uh, there is a little room through here actually, but I don't, I can't, I can, I cannot remember how you get through there. Uh, is it round here? No. I actually, oh, I got stuck. I got stuck there for a second. That would uh, wouldn't have made, wouldn't have made a good episode, would it? Yeah, I can't quite remember how you get through that room, so I'm gonna just leave that for now. Um, yeah, this is kind of the route you would take to progress uh, through the dungeon, but we are just gonna head down here and grab this word wall. I think it's just down here, isn't it? Yeah. I do love these little like glades that just seem to open up in some of the dungeons where like nature's sort of obviously slowly starting to take over again in these dungeons which are like thousands of years old. I can't remember what word this is actually. Ah, become ethereal. Not a shout that I use that often actually but I think it is quite a good one, especially if you're playing on a. Uh, I think if you play on like legendary difficulty. Um, yeah, there is a little secret just through this water hole, isn't there? Oh, did not expect that. Go on, Lydia. Yeah, become ethereal. I don't really use that much, but I think it is quite a good shout. Um, could be life saving in some situations, I guess. It stops you um, taking, like giving out damage, but also taking damage. It, it just sort of negates it. Um, which I guess, yeah, in some if you need, if you desperately need to make a get a getaway or something, I guess that is. It could be a a life saving shout. I think that is everything down here, isn't it? Here's a little beautiful little location, this though. Right, we will get through the next part of the dungeon now, back up here. Our stamina bar is struggling a little bit, isn't it? We're probably tired. 
I'd imagine what time it is. 11pm 11, 11 is getting quite late, isn't it? Did see like a skeleton or something over here, so we'll just take care of that first. Yeah, here it is. I think that's it, isn't it? Just the one. Yeah, this is where we get to use our new shout for the first time. Uh, not the ethereal one, the uh, whirlwind sprint that the... Uh, where is it? Shout. Um, Greybeard's taught us. There we go. Come on, Lydia. Just switch back to unrelenting force. Bad feeling about this. Oh no, don't say that, Lydia. Ah, oh, it's the uh, pesky uh, pressure plates, isn't it? We don't want to get burnt, so we'll try and avoid these if we can. Yeah, I felt, yeah they're, they're literally the whole way through this place, so yeah, you don't, don't want to spend too much time stepping on these. And we've got some spiders as well, bloody brilliant. There is another one somewhere, isn't there? Ah, there they are. Well, Mr. Spider, show yourself. There we go. And then I think there is one more, isn't there? One of the bigger ones. Lydia, what are you doing? Like, just up here, ah, yeah, up here. Here it comes. Go on, Lydia. And she's just hiding in this web like while Lydia just gets to take care of it. I think that's all of them, isn't it? Yeah. yeah we will grab the venom actually. at the end now guys. Oh yeah, here we are. Thought I'd just uh, stop there and let us admire the little cutscene. Not cutscene as such, but... Right, mysterious note. Dragonborn, I need to speak to you urgently. Rent the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood and I'll meet you, a friend. I wonder who that could be. to raid. Getting quite a lot of good stuff here. They're all empty. This one's got some in it, just gold. If we 
we got? Orcish War, Axe of Frost, Garnet, more gold, Potion of Pickpocketing, and some other stuff that we now need to give to Lydia. So, Lydia. I'm right behind you. Uh, I need to trade some things with you. How can I serve you, my thane? Oh yeah, we still got her. She's still carrying the bones that we uh, gave her. Right, what can we give you that weighs quite a bit? Do we have any weapons? Uh, yeah, you can take this axe for now. Along with all the robes that we've been grabbing and armour. There we go, that's better. Let's get going then. I think it is quite late, isn't it? Yeah, it's nearly one in the morning. I will uh, before we uh, we'll, we'll head back towards like the White Run area, but I'll uh, we'll probably have to sleep somewhere on the way. Yeah, we're out back in the urn room now. You are tired. I'll try and be quick. So where we are currently is uh, we, on our way here, didn't we, we got the coach to Morthal. Um, but what I think I'll do this time is we will walk back. Um, you can kind of cut through um, Labyrinthian, which is over here. I think it's that little pass there. But what we'll probably do is we'll walk around this way and then go immediately down. Because um, what I want to do is I want to, uh, we will use one of our camps, but I'm just not going to use it quite here just yet um, so we need, basically need to head in the uh, easterly direction which is this way yeah, we will hug the mountain pass actually we'll just head down a little bit first Yeah, we do have, uh, we did make some camping supplies in White Running, I think the last episode, which I do, we will, I will kind of use one and show you what they do in survival mode, because they are really important, but I just don't want to do it quite here yet. Um, it'll, I'll kind of explain why when, when I get to use it. You are hungry, what is that that's chasing Lydia? That's a ghost. Right, let's we best eat something, don't we? Because we've gone through that entire dungeon without eating. Uh, what have we got? Uh, we've got vegetable soup, slaughter fish. We'll have that. Let, let's have a sweet roll. I think we deserve it, don't we? And a apple. Uh, we'll have an ale as well. Why not? Do you want an ale as well, Lydia? Mead, sorry. at the mountain edge now so we'll just hug hug this until we get to uh, the point where we can just head south oh yeah here's the road yeah, it's quite cold now isn't it yeah, we do not want to be spending too much time out here, I don't think we have a. Uh, I don't think we have a torch, do we? Because that would help. No, we don't. 
I should have grabbed a few torches actually because you can give them to your follower and then they don't actually I think if you give them to your follower they don't go out whereas when you use them they have a time limit on them what is going on here Got some bandits and some uh, conjurers are having a bit of a bun fight can't quite see them because of a bush but we got her bandits have had a pretty bad day. Anything worthwhile stealing here? Oh, we've got some uh, potions. And a speech skill book. A few satchels. like these uh, conjurers were probably travelling on this road they, they might have got attacked by the bandits rather than the other way around uh, why is the horse wearing a garnet ring strange you can see our health starting to drain a little bit here because we are very cold oh damn it wolves an ice wolf as well not what you want really. Uh, much harder than the uh, standard wall. <laughs> what happened there? That was weird. Uh, right, we need to be pressing on really quite quickly. You are very cold. Yeah, this is not ideal. Uh, the reason why I'm kind of pushing through this at the minute oh, we do not want to start this quest uh, I think this is a mi one of the miscellaneous ones do I have any potions that will increase our stamina yeah not many though Yeah, the reason why I'm kind of pushing on is I do want to use the camp but I want to be quite specific on where we place it because you can leave them and then they become like little checkpoints to use in the future so where I'm kind of thinking is I didn't want to place one up here by Houston Grab because I just thought it's you're quite close to Morthal anyway and it's not really a location I think you spend a lot of time in this area what I'd ideally want to do is place it about here and then it's it's sort of like a, a, mid, a midway point between White Run and Dawnstar. Um, and obviously you've got Morflow here, so it would be quite a nice place to put one. Um, I do recommend being quite strategic with where you put them. Like, so like putting them, putting one along here between uh, Winterhold and Windhelm is probably a good idea because like this, it's not a good journey this up here. Um, neither's, neither's this area to be honest, like Dawnstar and Winterhold and Windhelm are like the three coldest areas, basically. So yeah, I kind of want to get to this sort of place first to drop it, rather than just drop it anywhere. There is a fire over there, actually. We might be able to warm ourselves on the giant's fire, which would be a good idea. God, what is after us now? Bandit's brilliant. Yeah, I wonder if I can get the giants to attack them. While we warm ourselves on fire. Yeah, go on. The uh, giants to kill them. giant, take him down. There we go, done. Let's get away from this giant now. I 
Oh, there is actually an interesting location up here. Um, God, our health is really starting to struggle a bit, isn't it? Uh, yeah, this little location up here is uh, the Hall of the Vigilante, which at this early level is still intact. But if you come here um, soon after this level, um, you it'll be like destroyed. Um, like the roof will be missing and it'll just be like on fire and it's basically been attacked by um, vampires and yeah it's not uh, not gone well for them it will just stay in here for a little bit and just warm up see our health just improving here you feel warmer but still chilly You feel warmer and are now comfortable. There we go. Right. Yeah, you can see sort of in this video why it's, the air is treacherously cold. Why it's uh, important to get, <laughs> get out of the cold if you can. Right, where are we now? Yeah, I basically want to put it probably about here. I am wearing my fur armor, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. It's really, we are really struggling a little bit. Let me just get past this uh, camp. Fort Doonstad. Is Fort Doonstad one of the? Um, uh, what's it called? Quests. Uh, Civil War. I can't remember whether it is or not. I think it is. Yeah, so I'm basically going to camp around sort of this sort of spot. Uh, just because I think this is quite a good location. Basically through there you've got Windhelm. You've got Dawnstar directly ahead. And then you've got um, white run just to the south so to camp uh, you, all you have to do is just select one of these when you've got it if you just select uh, use you'll then build a camp and what these basically do uh, they're good for a number of reasons really um, once you've set them up you'll you'll uh, oh, it explains what it does here yeah it allows you to rest and stay warm while exploring the wilderness and you can cook um, meals at the at the campfire uh, you can also sleep at them and as i said earlier they become like checkpoints so you can fast travel to them uh, uh, later on which is good uh, so then you end up with this sort of setup here um, so you have a little bit of a fire which is uh, buried by the snow actually um, so you can warm yourself up if you click select campfire you can cook at them I don't think we can we have anything we can cook oh yeah we do salmon steak um you have a little crate that you can sit on and then yeah you get a uh, bed roll which has got a map in it which is quite interesting um so yeah if you cl click select shell you can either break it or you can sleep so we will sleep for a few hours i don't think you get any rested bonuses but um, it is obviously still quite good so I think for now we will continue to put health points into health mainly because I think that's probably our most important and then we'll start to split them between probably magicka and stamina um, and in terms of perks we are sticking to I think so far we've done what we level 8 so we've done 6 perks up to now so we've done one in sneak. I think we've done two in light armor. Is it two in archery? And we'll do two in one-handed. Um, yeah, I think when leveling, I've seen a few comments in some of my build guide videos. I don't know if you've, any of you've watched any of them, 
um, and the comments are sort of like this isn't a good way to level if you focus on the non-combat skills first then the game will outgrow you and become harder um, and they're not necessarily incorrect with what they're saying so like a lot in a lot of my build guides i'll focus on skills like alchemy and speech and um, enchanting first they are the people who've left those comments they are right like if you level these skills up first and not your combat skills the game levels with you so the enemies will get harder so if you're not focusing on your combat early on it, the game will naturally get more difficult um it kind of works in the build guide sense because I'm kind of going full throttle to get these skills to 100 and then doing the um, the combat skills later. So as if you're following if you're following those guides and you stick to it, then it's, it's absolutely fine. But yes, if you just put a little bit into, um, I don't know, if you put a little bit into speech and a little bit into alchemy and a little bit into, I don't know, enchanting, and then you go and just play the game as normal, you will struggle a little bit. Um, if you're playing like I'm playing now, then you do want to focus on whatever your combat skills are first and whatever you're using for survivability, so in this case light armour, um, as I'm doing here basically. Focus on those skills early on. Um, and stick to just a couple as well, like I'm doing one-handed and archery. Um, in this build, I probably I wouldn't advise like going to like destruction as well and two-handed. Um, if you spread yourself too, th <clears throat> if you spread yourself too thinly, sorry, um, you will, you will struggle. Um, so yeah, we awaken feeling better but still drained. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this camp up. Um, it should actually have, uh, if I just get rid of the marker, yeah, we'll now have a campsite which will act as a checkpoint for us when travelling north and is a fast travel point as well if you turn survival mode off that is sorry yeah i should say that that survival mode they are still that is still disabled that feature they're still useful though um as way markers and places for you to rest so we'll get materials to craft a few more of those and yeah have them doid around the map Did not expect to see a couple of spiders just over the uh, uh, little hill there. Oh, we've leveled up already again. We go back to bed. Stay away from this giant camp actually because the uh, I think we annoyed the last one getting a little bit too close. Uh, definitely stay away from the mammoths. You get another fantastic view of White Run coming this way. The uh, the opposite way on to White Run from normal. We're coming from the north now. So you kind of see Dragon's Reach first, but the uh, the back of it. Is this the location? I, th I think this is where you build... Oh, wolf. I think this is the location where you build one of the hearth firehouses, isn't it? Is it normally here on this hill? Was just approach approaching in front of us which normally has a few bandits uh, the first time you come here there's always like bandits attacking it so that's why I got my bow out just in case they are here
This guard looks pretty chill. Oh, no. Ah, yeah, there they are. Yeah, they're always here for some reason. Yeah, I do not want to shoot this guard in the back, so I'll kind of let them deal with this. Not much uh, trouble for the uh, white run guards. Wait, I'm. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Brigands I can handle. But this talk of dragons? The world's gone mad. Yep, yeah, the world has gone mad. Amulet of Devella. That's quite nice. How are we doing for arrows, actually? I feel like we've probably got a lot. Yeah. Could probably start using steel arrows soon. We are getting quite a lot of them now. Ah, Eastman, you did it. You killed the dragon. Right, we are nearly nearly at white run now, guys. There is a uh, bandit camp, I think, just around here. It's like it's like one of the unmarked ones. Yeah, but we'll just do a quick pit stop there first, just for some last minute loot. Yeah, here it is. Should we shoot the one that's just sat, just having his uh, lunch, probably? Okay, got him. I find it really hard to see in a, when you're sneaking when the eye's there, just like in the way. And quite a tough cookie this bandit, it's taking quite a few arrows. There we go. Yeah, if you're in sneak mode and the eye's just there like in the middle. Apple pie. Uh, firewood, that's quite good actually, we won't need to chop some of our own. Can we take this horse? No, still class as steel. We are a good uh, Nord. We'll try and avoid bounties if we can. Although I think we did pick, pick one up in uh, Riverwood, didn't we, right at the start? Trying to break into um, Feindel's house. Yeah, what have we got here? One of the uh, random quests. We aren't going to bother with that for now, though. It's normally, ah, here it is, chest here. just like stood there just like not doing anything I feel like we're gonna have a lot of stuff to sell which is good because I would quite like to purchase a house pretty soon uh, Lydia, we need to give you more armor. I'm at I am at your command. I am at your command. Take my stuff. Have this staff. And these robes. Just literally just going to give you everything. I thought she was going to equip the staff then. That would have been quite amusing. You know, what else have we got here? More... More mead and a pickpocket book uh, and schooma. Uh, although we are not a schooma addict, 
Um, we might sell this to the cats who are skooma addicts. No, we are a Nord that drinks mead and eats sweet rolls, uh, not skooma. We might actually be here, actually, the uh, Khajiits. Khajiit caravans. Uh, over here. Normally, just through this door, aren't they? Uh, gate, sorry. Uh, no, they are not here. They must be on the road somewhere. Okay, let us head into Whiterun. getting peckish again yeah food and we are drained we always seem to be drained <laughs> permanently knackered I suppose we didn't sleep well did we uh, ah the uh, the bodies are still here um, in this uh, rather interesting position Right, so what we are going to do is let's just sell our stuff. So we may as well equip the amulet of Debella to do this yeah, because it could get better speech. And we're also going to give gold to either the beggar or one of the children. So whoever we see first, there's one here. Oh, it's normally this girl, isn't it? Mother. Lucia. Mister, could you spare a coin? Yeah, she's not even looking at me. Here, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Don't you think the children in uh, Skyrim time. are just like weird? Like they just don't look like children at all, do they? Like, it's so weird. Are you in trouble? Am I in trouble? Is that why you're hiding like that? <laughs> right. Let's sell our stuff. So we'll start off with the uh, blacksmith. Wait, I know you. Uh, and we need what we need is uh, we need all the stuff from Lydia actually. I've got your back. How can I serve you, my thing? Uh, give me all of your things. Uh, do we want to sell that? We might, we might be able to disenchant that actually. <laughs> loads of stuff. We're gonna we're gonna leave you with the bones and the scales though. Let's get going then. Right, come here, Mrs. Blacksmith. Take all my stuff. Out here. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. So let's give her the yeah, all this fur armor. Give me all your gold. I'll do for that. And then Don't we want to, to turn all our pelts into leather. I think we should have enough to um, make another camp. Because we got some firewood didn't we earlier as well. Yeah, camping supplies. Here we go. That'll do. And then, uh, yeah, we can walk now, which is good. So now we'll head up to uh, Bellathor and then Arcadia, and then we'll go up to Dragon's Reach. And just unload all our gear. Got something for just about everybody in here. Everything's for sale. Take a look. Right, what can we give you? Staff of Zombies, yes. We'll sell you the gems actually because not many other people want them. And we'll keep the leather for now because that might be useful. 
get rid of all of this. I don't want any of it. We'll keep the map. Right. Bellathor has no gold. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler. I'm glad we're friends. I have something for you. Here. A steel sword. What do you need, my friend? Uh, thanks, Arcadia, I guess. Take a look. Uh, what I do want from her, actually, is... Does she have salt? Because uh, we'll do some cooking. Yes, salt. And I also wonder if she has... Uh, she's only got one, but I got rid of all my fire salts in the last episode, and that was a mistake, actually, because these are really useful in survival mode for making the hot versions of food. And which keep you warm, which would have really benefited us when we were in the cold uh, reaches of Dawnstar. So we'll buy them. Uh, I was hoping she'd have more than one, but I guess one's better than nothing. Um, and then we want to sell her... Uh, what are we not going to use? Illusion. I'm probably never going to use lockpicking. Uh, Pickpocketing I probably won't use... Uh, Berserker, no. Block it, you know, probably won't use that. That, or that. Uh, the schooner I will keep hold of for now. Uh, only because I think it's funnier just to give it to the Come cats. If you need a remedy. Uh, we won't craft anything for now, I don't think we need to. Quickly get up to Dragon's Reach. And then when we've done this, we will get on down to Riverwood. Disenchant anything else. Not to worry, we'll just try and sell all our robes to Farangar. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Right, what can we give you that you want? Right, ring, necklace, yet, yeah. garnet ring, yet, yeah. robes of illusion, yet, yeah. necromancer robes. Uh, we're not going to be able to give him everything. Yeah, that'll do. So we've got six and a half thousand gold now, so we're almost you know, at the point that we could get one of the houses. Uh, we could buy Bree's home, but we wouldn't be able to fill it yet. And I think uh, Tundra Homestead is just a little bit more, isn't it? There's been talk amongst the gods. Right, quickly go into here and make some food before we set off to Welcome. Riverwood. Let me know if you want anything. Uh, have you I've got, got any salt as somewhere. well? If it's work you need, how about shop? Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Uh, just the one. Uh, anything else? Uh You've got a cabbage that might be useful. Butter, actually, that that's actually quite a rare ingredient, um, considering how common butter should be. You don't actually see that that often. It's a bit of a nightmare to make as well. Uh, potatoes, uh, tomatoes. I'm just buying all the veg so we can make. Um, does she have any leeks? No. Um, make soup basically. You want a drink? Just let me oh, here we go, Sadia. Uh, you will not take no for an answer, will you? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Are you thirsty? Uh, what have you got that we could have? I bet you've just got the exact same. Yeah, it's the same inventory as the last person, isn't it? Now, please, no more questions. Uh, 
no more questions. You you are the one that follows me around. Uh, right, what have we got here? Venison, we will have uh, more mead for getting drunk. Uh, we'll basically just take the meat. Because what we can make, hopefully, is some pretty good soups. Yeah, so the ones I'm looking for are... Ah, here we go, hot. The hot versions, because we do have some fire salts now. Yeah, so hot vegetable soup. So this is basically the same as vegetable soup. You just get the warmth rating as well. So we'll make one of them. Um, and then we will also make some salmon steaks and I don't think I uh, which one is it there's one I don't think we can make it anyway if it's work you're looking for uh, is it venison stew I think it's venison stew is basically the same as is it vegetable you soup your drink, speak to Holda. you just it's just a slightly different number of ingredients, but we, yeah, we, we don't have any salt, so we can't um, make it. So, salt is uh, such an important ingredient for Mind cooking. And pay your bills, and you'll always be welcome. Uh, I wonder if we can actually uh, get some salt from somewhere. Is there any up here? No, never mind. Right, let's get down to Riverwood, shall we? Uh, we do need to eat, actually, don't we? So we will eat a. apple pie. Let's eat some vegetable soup, actually, because we've got quite a few now. There we go. Uh, and we can actually grab some, we'll grab some um, vegetables from the farms that are outside um, wire run. We should have done this earlier actually, so we could have made some more, but um, yeah, we'll stock up on ingredients. So basically where we're heading now is um, to Riverwood uh, to find out who took the horn. Yeah, just along here there are uh, patches, uh, vegetable patches. So I wonder what we've got actually. So we've got nine tomatoes, four potatoes, one leek. Uh, and we don't have any cabbages, so uh, we'll grab some of those. can just raid all this area to be honest but we'll uh we'll be kind we'll leave them at least some uh, do they have any leaks normally there's normally one that's got leaks on it at least i thought there was any potato plants ah here we are here's a leak one uh, that'll do now next time we get to a cooking spit we'll uh, be able to make some more soup. Don't bother me, peasant. I've had a long journey and paid too much coin on these gifts to be late to Victoria's wedding. Uh, I'll be relieving you of those gifts. I don't think I've ever you, spoken to that guy before. Richie, an extremely well-connected merchant. 
Should have definitely uh, put an arrow between his eyes, shouldn't I, for that comment? Was it watch it, peasant? sleep here actually and then do the next part of the journey the next morning because otherwise I think it'll probably be dark because it's quite a journey we're about to go on right here we are Delphine You're I'm the innkeeper it's my business to keep track of strangers I'd like to rent the attic room Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. Right then. Come on, Lydia. Come to bed. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. So then came Follow flashing me. and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of seal. And the dragon uh, yeah, it says here you can return the horn to Angia, but you don't actually have to do it. Um, yeah, you can leave it until later. Um, obviously, it's quite a journey, isn't it? Up to uh, High Hrothgar. Um, it depends how much you want the third word of the unrelenting force shout because you do get it when you go back to them <laughs> yeah, but it's not essential that you do it straight away basically right talk to me delphine the graybeards seem to think you're the dragonborn i hope they're right you're the one who took the horn surprise i guess i'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act What's with all the cloak and dagger? You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. What do you want with me? I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure... <laughs> Very straight to the point, isn't trap. it? I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Go on, I'm listening. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. How do I know I can trust you? If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. Why did you take the horn from Ustengrav? I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeard sent, and not some Thalmor plant. You said the Thalmor are after you. Yes. We're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be dragonborn. Why are you looking for a dragonborn? We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Yes, that's how I first learned I was Dragonborn. Good, and you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. So what's the part you're not telling me? Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. Do you know how crazy this sounds? <laughs> a few years ago, I said almost the same thing to a colleague of mine. Well, it turned out he was right and I was wrong. What makes you think dragons are coming back to life? I know they are. 
I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. How did you figure all this out? You should know. You got the map for me from Bleak Ball's Barrow. The Dragonstone was a map of ancient dragon burial sites. I've looked at which ones are now empty. The pattern is pretty clear. It seems to be spreading from the southeast, down in the Geralds near Riften. The one at Kynesgrove is next, if the pattern holds. So where are we headed? Kynesgrove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Let's go kill a dragon. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. We're just gonna stand here and watch. Delphine gets undressed and we missed it, that was quick. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynesgrove. Right, now we can basically just rob this whole place now, which we are obviously gonna do. So you can take this map of dragon burials. It's not really worth anything, but quite a nice little unique souvenir I guess uh, and then there's just like yeah loads of stuff in this room that you can kind of rob I'm gonna take all this gold um, and then the uh, there is a sword on here that's well worth taking actually because it's a lot powerful probably than anything that you kind of carry at the, this moment in time the blade sword um, I'll just show this yeah so this is like damage 18 weight 10 and the steel war axe we're using is 15 and 12 so yeah miles it's miles better so we're actually going to uh, we definitely don't need all of these so we'll drop all them in there and we'll use the uh, the blades sword uh, I'll actually favourite that Uh, and then there is uh, quite a few potions in here as well, which is good. Ah, the uh, fabled giant's toe. Uh, makes one of the most powerful potions in the whole game that but not an easy uh, ingredient to get hold of Where's he gone? Here he is. Oh no. We got rooms and food. <laughs> Do you know too. about Delphine's activities? To tell. That's her business not mine probably not yours either <laughs> um, What have you got for sale Drink for the thirsty food for the hungry? Where is your salt? You give me your salt. Have you got anything worthwhile having? Uh, no. Right, so what we want to do is we want a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Until next time. Right, we're just going to uh, sleep until the early hours and the travel in the morning. Because yeah, we can level up then as well, can't we? Right, here we go. Alright, so I'll probably put one into Magicka now, I think. Uh, and then perks wise, I don't think at this point there's anything we want. So Archer is not quite level 30, so we can't get like Zoom yet. Uh, light Armor's not quite 30, so we can't get Custom Fit. And sneak is not 30 yet, so we can't do extra damage and things. So yeah, you don't if you get a perk point and you don't you don't know what to use it yet, like save them, like you don't have to use them. And um, something better might come down the line that you sort of can save up for. And the did swagger and um, so do we need to eat now? We probably do. Yeah. Let's have a breakfast. Uh, breakfast of champions, an apple pie, why not? And a sweet roll. Uh, come on, Lydia, move. But then he went quiet, did 
Uh, there we go. Right, is there a cooking spit in here? So we can just make up our soup. Uh, I don't think there is, is there? It's probably outside. So then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave last Matilda charged in full of seal. Kind's Grove is this way. We can travel together or split up and meet there. Your choice. Uh, I don't know where the cooking spit is. Oh well. I think we're good for now. Yeah, so basically what we're going to do now is um, the. Where we are heading is Kynes Grove, which is just over here. So when, um, if you remember the last episode when we were going up to High Hrothgar, we basically went this way around the mountain, didn't we? We went to Orphan Rock and then round to Iverstead. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go the other way around. Um, and the reason why is there's a few other quests which we can do, which we were saving. So um, I think it is this... Uh, one of them as well so um amran is looking for his he wants us to find his family sword which is in valfan keep which i think is there and then the other part of the blessings of nature which is the quest we're doing to sort of save the tree in white run is here at the elder gleam sanctuary so what we're going to basically do is head this way uh stop off at valfheim towers then go to Elder Gleam, and then we'll go to Kynes Grove, um, just because we can tick them off on the way. Um, so yeah, let's uh, make a start. Uh, Delphine is, she says she's not bothered about going alone um, or traveling together, but then she always like waits around for you. So I think she's secretly, she just wants a friend. She's like running after me now, like, Wait for me, guys. Yeah, I bet this sword is a lot better than what we've been using. They look quite good as well, don't they, the blade swords? They're a bit like a samurai sword. Quite nice. the uh, Honing Brew Meadery, isn't it? Uh, there is a little barrel here, actually, where you can grab some free mead. I think it's this one here, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we have, we have got, I bet we've got a lot of... Uh, we've got one ale, three black briars, seven Honing Brews, and then three Nord Meals. I think we, uh, I think we have enough mead for the trip. What do you say, Lydia? Oh, you're still up there. Uh, made me jump. Pesky wolves. Get a really nice view. Um looking back at white run this way I think as you sort of walk up this hill um, over to over towards uh, in the direction of Windhelm sorry you kind of look back and you just get this brilliant view of like wind uh, of white run and dragon's reach oh we got the uh it's like a glitched shield here which is nice just floating in the air right lydia mind out the way because that is going to set on fire now or not your choice i right, should hopefully be able to get some fire salts from these which is nice that is absolutely what we want. And then uh, you can see a Tundra Homestead just there, one of the new houses. 
just on looking Dragon's Reach. Oh, Delphine. Well, it looks like the map markers have finally appeared for you. Yeah, it was weird. I, I was looking at that location, questioning where the Valheim keep was there because the locate the uh, map marker wasn't there, but it looks to have appeared now, which is weird. Last episode when we dropped down from High Hrothgar, we kind of came, we dropped onto this little camp here, didn't we, the Stormcloak camp. I think I pointed this location out. Uh, this is the ritual stone for, uh, sorry, the, the, yeah, the ritual stone. And uh, someone left in the comments, actually, there's a really, really powerful skill book here if you're interested, which I'll just quickly show uh, you. Normally there's a little conjure or something here we have to kill. So we'll just quickly do that. Yeah, this, this sword is a lot better, isn't it, than the uh, steel axe. Um, yeah. But basically... Uh, why is that skeleton not dead? When the con person who conjured it is dead. Uh, yeah, if you walk up to the... Uh, ritual stone and then on this little um, rock here you'll see the conjure undying ghost spell which is is a powerful uh, spell especially early on uh, I'll just read the book so we've got it actually I'm not I'm not going to use it but I just wanted to wanted to uh, grab it to show you where it was um, so basically what it does is it consumes all your magicka, however much magicka you've got, whether it's 100 or like 300. What it does is it doubles the amount of um, magicka consumed and sets that as the ghost attributes. So obviously you can, like it, it can be a really powerful follow, um, sort of follower, especially early on, like you can just like, tank stuff for you so um yeah quite a good spell that um yeah someone mentioned it in the comments so i just thought i would uh show you where that is so now we've done that you'll can see just there in the distance is valfheim towers uh, just stretching across the river right, so that is where we are heading first of all to uh, recover amarin's uh, sword we do need to heal actually, we'll use a potion. Quite, uh, I quite like this location, it's funny though because there's normally a bandit outside um, and the very first thing they'll say to you is like they'll try and t like tell you that it's a toll road and you need to um, pay a fee to basically use it, which is quite amusing actually. Uh, there's normally quite a few bandits here as well. Doesn't look like the person outside is here this time. Oh yeah, there they are. coming yeah here they are is that is that delphine that's up there still hanging around 
just absolutely helping us wreck these bandits. Okay, let's get in. That was a cooking spot here, actually. Do a bit of cooking while Delphine and Lydia take care of these bandits. Oh, can't do it while in combat. We'll do that on the way out. Doing a bit of raiding while in combat. Delphine is absolutely just like destroying this uh, bandit camp for us. Nice little kill cam there with the uh, armpit shot. We may both end up dead. What is it? Let's get going. Uh, we are carrying too much to run. Uh, Lydia, where are you? Why is this bandit carrying two shields? And um, weird, very strange. Uh, where is Lydia? Oh, she's down there. Uh, Lydia, we kind of need you because I'm carrying too much stuff here. Uh, come on, Lydia, what are you doing? I think we've got a bit of a uh, glitch here. Lydia seems to be struggling a little bit. Come on, Lydia. Right, here we go. She's finally worked out how to get up. And we'll just uh, admire the view. Oh, thought that deer was just going to run off that cliff then. Yeah, we'll just wait for Lydia to get up here. Here she is. Come on, Lydia. Still here. Holding the let's play up. How can I serve you, my friend? All right, what have you got? You don't need that iron arrow, do you? Really? Let's be honest. Right, let's give you. We'll give you this war axe of frost, actually, because we're not using it. Uh, we're going to give you all these robes back as well. Uh, that'll do. You lead, I'll follow. Uh, is there anything else worth having in here? Cabbage, potato. Yes, please. There's normally quite a bit of stuff around this camp if I remember correctly. I uh, probably don't need any more arrows now. It might be the next one actually that where all the stuff is. Oh uh, yeah. think so. Oh yeah, here we are. This is a archery skill book which we will take. Then the sword should be in this chest. There we go, Amran's family sword. And then there is normally a, I think it's a leveled bow up here. Hunting bow of shocks, which we will have as well. I think that's it for this location. We'll just get this bandit that we shot. We are full again already. I'm right behind oh, you. Get a bit close, Lydia. Personal space. How can I serve you, my friend? Uh, 
Uh, carry Amran's sword. Oh no, we can't. I can't give that because it's a. Uh, you can have this bow though. And this circlet. That's uh, <laughs> kind of suits you. Uh, that will do. Carry on my leather as well. There we go. That's better. You lead, I'll follow. You lead, I'll follow. Right, now we can progress to the second location which we are after, which is the um to do with the tree. Yeah, let's just make our soup actually that we were waiting on. Oh yeah, here they are. Hot vegetable soup and hot venison stew are pretty similar. So we'll do the stew. And then we'll just make lots of vegetable soup. And then it's sorry, it's this way we're going. Not not that way. Is Delphine finally taken the hint and left without us? I think she's gone, isn't she? Weird how the weather just changed and it's now like quite overcast and hazy. It's quite nice even though obviously this is still quite an old game now. Like you can see the light sort of, I don't know that you can see that but it's like um, just peering through these trees. Uh, like volumetric lighting. I think they did quite a good job of that in this game considering it is quite an old game obviously like the rock textures and the foliage is like it just looks pretty naff now but in terms of the actual lighting i think they did they did a quite a good job with that oh god here we go who's this thief all right hand over your valuables or i'll gut you like a fish uh, that was weird What a weird... Uh, okay. <laughs> she like stops mid-sentence to go like, like attack this frostbite spider. Uh, where did she end up? Ah, here. What a kill cam that was. Uh, let's rob her blind. Run away, Mr. Goat. Right, we're nearly, nearly there now. I think it's just in these oh, wolves. I do not want to fight more wolves. I fight far too many wolves in this game. They're literally everywhere you go. I think the cave is high Hrothgar just up there. 
Uh, the cave is somewhere around here. I think it's is it that one? It's just in the distance. Yeah, the ancestor glade. Yeah, here it is. And not ancestor glade, sorry, elder gleam sanctuary. The ancestor glade is the one in uh, Dawnguard, isn't it? It is an impressive location this by the way. <laughs> this is a, again this is like Skyrim in a nutshell isn't it? It's like oh look at this tiny little cave, I wonder what's inside and then you go in it and it's like what the, it's like it just opens up into this like paradise. And it is a sanctuary in every sense of the word isn't it? I mean it's like hot springs and just this incredible sort of uh, yeah <laughs> a bit uh, lost for words there and then you have this just, like incredible tree just at the top which we do need the Nettledane to get through you just use this and the tree sort of folds back on itself because you know, it absolutely hates the uh, the blade the blade is like the tree's like the epitome of I guess nature and good and the, the, the knife is like twisted and evil and so then what you do now is uh, activate elder gleam and take some of the sap but you do now get attacked by um, Spriggans, so I will try and take them on, but they are quite a pain. Thankfully, Lydia is here with us. Thankfully we are well stocked on the potion from them without needing to fight them. got the sap that you can give it to Danica to repair the tree and then in white run the tree uh, will be will uh, look a lot hey, more healthy okay. put it that way did what's Lydia inside? just say hey look a cave I wonder what's inside like we literally have just been in there like, honestly Lydia come on a dragon over there. Hopefully it doesn't see us. Because we are off to fight a dragon. Uh, I don't really want to fight two. Just yet. a word wall just up there isn't there I think 
That's probably why it's circling overhead. I think that's one of its uh, one of the dragon locations. Uh, but Kynes Grove is just over here. Oh, that's creepy. Draugr. See a wind helm there in the distance. Oh, save a cat. No, thank you. Oh, it spotted me. Brilliant. Oh, Lydia. Switch to our bow. That was weird. Suddenly just changed to snowing. Right, here we are, Kynes Grove. And here's Delphine. No, you don't want to go up there. A dragon. It's attacking. A dragon is attacking Kynes Grove. Yet. Oh god, it it's the, the uh... landed on the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. I've been looking for you. Hurry, we might Got be something late. I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Uh yeah. What is it? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands Yeah, you only. just told me that. <laughs> Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Yeah, right, a letter from the Jarl. Let's speak to the Jarl of Falkreath. Right, where is... Where's Delphine? She already gone up to the dragon burial. Oh yeah, it's up there, isn't it? I don't know how you get up now. Get up here. Oh yeah, come the wrong way. Here we are. And here you see uh, Alduin for the second time raising the dragons. I think this is a Salakonir or Salakonir or something. This one. One of the other rare named ones. Ah, here's Delphine. Hiding behind this rock. Right, one right between the eyes. Let's do this, Salakneer. Bring it on. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to use a couple of potions. Resist fire. And a uh, true shot. Hopefully, make it a little bit easier. 
Oh, this is an ice dragon. It's brilliant. For some reason, I thought this one was fire. Touched by him yet. Where's he going now? He's gonna crash. Oh, here he comes. Alright, let's get in there. Yeah, we made light work without the three of us. And Salopnia did not last very long, did he? That was a uh, very quick second life. Steel Mace of Weariness. And more stuff for um, Lydia to carry. Lydia. Got your back. I am sworn to have all of these dragon bones. Let's get going then. I owe you some answers, don't I? Uh, yeah, ahead. you probably do. Whatever you want to know, nothing held back. Who are you, and what do you want with me? I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were dragon slayers. And we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. What do you know about the dragons coming back? Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. I've seen that dragon before, the one that got away. Really? Where? It was the one that attacked Helgen when Ulfric escaped from the Imperials. Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it, we're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. What's our next move? The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragon. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Uh, what makes you think the Thalmor are bringing dragons back? Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? So we need to find out what, what the Thalmor know about the dragons. Any ideas? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. <laughs> so how do we get into the Thalmor Embassy? I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. And that completes the uh, quest when we start Diplomatic Immunity. We've got a key now to get into uh, Delphin's little secret room. So, uh, what we're going to do now is... I think we, um, is it just right back in Riverwood we need to go? Ah yeah, so we've got um, Delphine to meet in Riverwood and then we've got the Amran's sword which we can take back to him and return to Danica to finish off the tree quest. 
I don't think there is anything we could do over here. Uh, what we could do actually is on our way back, we could return to Klimek as well and collect all our gold. Because then what we we'll probably will have is we'll probably have enough then to buy um, Tundra Homestead or Breeze Home, which will be quite nice. So I think we'll we'll head this way first and then probably back round to Riverwood that way and then on to White Run. So let us uh, head in that direction. You are hungry. Now what can we eat? Salmon steak. You are now satisfied. Uh, let's have an ale. I think we've earned it, haven't we? After our fights with a dragon. Uh, that will do. What say you, Lydia? Do you want an ale as well? I think Still here. Uh, I am at your command. you definitely need an ale or three. Or maybe a mead. Yeah, you, we'll give you the black briar mead. There you go, Lydia. Knock yourself out. Lead on. Who is this dude? Stormcloak soldier. Did I? I didn't take his armor off, did I? Was he just here? Like finally, a uh, bandit that wasn't stripped naked by me. <laughs> quite late actually now it's still in the afternoon isn't it we're probably knackered though I mean we're always knackered fatigue drained <laughs> like a never-ending cycle of just being tired all the time I don't know if it's something to do with the uh, the map system uh, someone sort of explained it probably more eloquently than I could but um, Skyrim obviously operates on a uh, it's it's a large area isn't it but it's portrayed over a small map so in order to kind of make it feel make the map feel as large as it should feel the passage of time is accelerated um, I think it's like 25 times faster or something obviously to give the so when you travel somewhere it feels like it it's taken a while like hours will pass um, and I'm wondering if that is the same as... Oh, there is usually a bear or something in there, so I'm going to avoid that for now. Um, I'm wondering if it's the same in terms of you getting fatigued, like when you travel somewhere, it just naturally happens to help it make it seem like you've travelled a long distance. see a bear down there I covered that in my recent video that location it's basically where one of the treasure maps uh -huh. is in the um, Riverside Shack I think it's called oh great we've got a uh, saber tooth here don't really want to have to take this saber tooth on but we will Unless, in fact now how have we Oh, I think he just spotted us now. I was like, how have we avoided him there? Nice shot, Lydia. side of the river soon because we uh, need to get to Iverstead to 
we are sort of heading south. We basically want to be climbing all the way up there. So we are quite low down at the minute. More wolves, brilliant. Another one, honestly. More wolves in Skyrim than people. So there is a good way of oh, looking at more, more of Skyrim's wildlife. This is why I like that um, Voice of the Sky perk uh, so much, the one you get in High Hrothgar, because it's just a pain. The amount of times you get attacked. Um, yeah, there's a little sort of gravelly path up here, uh, just on the map, sort of, yeah, this location, that takes you like right up to Iverstead. It's quite a handy little, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a road or not, but I use it. And then if you get to here and then snake back on yourself, you kind of carry it, you follow it up, and it just takes you up the mountain. It's like a, just a, a shortcut basically to get up here, because otherwise you've got to go a really long way around. And then up here. And then yeah, you just zig, sort of zigzag up. And you, yeah, we were like down there before. And that's Wind uh, Kynes Grove, just like there. And just in front of Windhelm. There is normally a um, yeah saber tooth here, which is a pain. Is that Lydia? Who is that? A mercenary. <laughs> There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. And then if you just follow the river up, just keep the river on your right, uh, you will eventually, as you come up over this hill, Iverstead should just be in front of you. Right, Klimek, where are you? I bet he's probably in bed, isn't he? We were 
it won't be able to have to break into his house and get another bounty. Oh, what is he doing asleep? Um, nice a pain. Uh, have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Kinds. Uh, yeah, I was there. Do you mind um, walking somewhere else? What is he doing? Is he going in there? Oh, don't... What? Honestly, of all the places to stand, like, come on. Like, do the Let's Play a favour and get lost. Because we need to uh, break into Klimek's house. Uh, that... Have we got another bounty? Come on, Klimek. We've come all this way for our gold. What say you in your defense? Uh oh, you caught me. I'll pay off my bounty. What a shame. Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Come on, I just want to, I just want my gold. Where oh no, have we been Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk. Have we been taken all scum the way to Rifter? Oh brilliant. Face butcher is more like it from what I've heard. All that because we uh, tried to break into one house. I'm really getting tired of your When you borrow the I said you pay back. Hey, you get over here. I had another run in with the thieves. Uh, right, I guess we aren't getting our uh, payment from Klimek this time. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm not going to walk all the way back, so now let's just uh, hire a carriage. Where do you want to go? Uh, take me all the way to Whiterun, please. Climbing back and we'll be off. Yeah, that was disappointing. Oh, steady. He got all the way to went all the way to Iverset to get to Klimek and he was uh, in his house. Yeah, right, we are you are tired, you are chilly, you are famished. Brilliant. Right, food, vegetable soup. You feel better, but it's still peckish. Uh, not really anything else we want. The salmon steak will eat that. You are well fed. Right. So, instead of what we were going to do, it uh, was. Uh, no, we can't increase our skills, can we? What we were going to be doing was coming round here and stopping at Riverwood first and then going up to White Run. But I guess we'll, we may as well do the White Run bits now first and then go, off, go to. Um, Danica afterwards not Danica Delphine sorry I can't I can't believe that we went all the way to Iverstead and then couldn't get in his house and then ended up being taken all the way to Riften to pay off a tiny little bounty Someone who can get things done. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything. Ah, now what we need to do is. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. You are right, Lydia. You look like you're. Uh... I'm right behind you. How can I serve you, my? Give me all your stuff. You're not drunk. Your mead. Come on. Everything else. 
Right. Let's get going, then. Take all my stuff, Adrian. Some good pieces. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Uh, actually, no. We'll turn them into leather. Leather boots and leather brace, they are a bit better, aren't they? But we are quite enjoying the fact that we're kind of just staying in our fur, aren't we? For now, aren't we? So we'll sell these. And then we'll sell the sword and the mace. That'll do. Take my leave then. I'm wondering if we can. What does it. What do you need to upgrade the blade sword? It's a steel ingot, which we can't do yet, I don't think, can because we don't have the perk. I wonder if we can upgrade our fur armor. No, not yet. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is all I ask is a fair have you met my father the finest yeah, I'm gonna sell you some of this leather because we definitely do not need 33 pieces of it until next time right so Amran it's it is better normally if you leave this to a little bit later because what he does is he gives you some skill points um, and it, it doesn't matter what level you are, you always get the skill points. So if obviously if your level's higher, um, leveling takes longer so it's more beneficial to do this. Um, but obviously for the benefit of Let's Play, um, I'll just show you what happens. My wife's a good woman. So you just say, I have your sword. I love her just the same. You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. You took on all those bandits yourself? Thank you. Here, my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. And then you get a one-handed uh, skill point and a block skill point. So obviously if you leave that till the skills are higher, it's, um, right then. it's obviously more beneficial to you. But uh, yeah, that's basically what that little side quest does. And then this is the tree that is looking a little bit worse for wear. Do you have the elder? Uh, yes, sap? I've got the sap. Wonderful. I'll use it to repair the tree. Thank you so much for all your help. Uh, and then that is pretty much that. Oh, grace of Kinneret be with you. So then now. The tree should be uh, repaired, or I think it might be after that. I think it's the next day. We'll come, we'll we'll sleep, and then we'll look at it in the morning, or like later on today. I think we are quite tired, aren't we? Yeah. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. If it's work you're looking for, Hulda's the one to talk to. Well, Mikhail, what are you doing there? Let's get a few hours kip. Alright, we can level up again. So let's put it into stamina or actually not health. And then we'll go stamina. I don't think we can, oh yeah we can put it in, into archery now, so what we'll do is we'll put one in critical shot and one in uh, pressing block, we'll zoom. You're awake and feeling well rested. Yeah everything's good now. If you need more food or drink, speak to Hulda. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Alright, what have we got? Salt. Yes, please. Um, so 
anything else worthwhile taking. Right, let's try and make some food. No more questions. Mind your manners and pay your. Just want to use the cooking spit. Right, what can we make? Right, venison chop. Salmon steak we'll make. Salmon and venison. I think that's everything, isn't it? Can't make any soup or anything yet. Yeah, that'll do. Right, and we should hopefully be able to sell more stuff and then buy a home. Let me know if you see anything you like. Everything's for sale. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Right, what can we sell? We've got quite a lot of fire arrows now, don't we? Uh, black mage robes we can get rid of, definitely. Uh, necromancer robes, novice robes, we don't need any of that. Uh, scrolls, yep. Books, yep. Any potions we don't need. Uh, we're probably not going to need this venom. Or disruption, we don't use that. Still got that skooma. Right, that'll do. Do come back. Right, let's go buy ourselves a home and then we can head down to Riverwood. Have you got anything that you way. want from me Take first? I think we are pretty much out of stuff to sell, aren't we? Yeah. You know, if you've got the aptitude, let's go talk to the uh, bald man. Divines bless you. May the ground uh, Shall we buy? Pass. Let's buy the new one, actually. The uh, Tundra Homestead. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. There we go. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Lydia, we have a new house. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Oh, is the tree repaired now? Maybe it does happen after a while. I thought it happened instantaneously, but it, it it does look a lot better than this, by the way. We will come and look at it one time. Oh, what's this guy want now? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. And what he's given us now? Uh, anonymous letter. Oh, that's not it. Oh, it's the Hendraheim one, isn't it? Yeah, probably my f probably my favourite of all the newer homes, that Hendraheim. Yeah, quickly go visit Tundra Homestead and then 
we can get down to Riverwood to start diplomatic immunity. But I think I might pause the uh, let's play before starting that quest um, and do that in episode 4 because I think it's been about just over 2 hours already. Uh, Tundra Homestead is just up here. <laughs> just see it in the distance there. Definitely one of the more beautiful homes this. Really, really nice location. And it comes with its own got some crafting stuff here. So you've got like you got your own smelter, um, your own grindstone and workbench amongst other things. Here we are. You come inside in this quite nice sitting area. It's quite a small home, this, but it is really nice. And then you have like cooking spit, baking surface, a uh, little sort of kitchen area, and then your uh, bedroom is just through here. Again, really nice. And then through here, you have your Enchanting setup, your alchemy setup, and then you have a cellar as well, which has all these mannequins and everything set up, uh, weapon racks, place for all the masks and things, yeah, display cases, uh, sort of wall for all the dragon claws. Yeah, really nice. Really nice set of this, I think. Right, so... Oh, not fancy coming in, Lydia. He's standing guard. So I think what I'll do now is I think I'll pause this episode um, and, yeah, start up episode four. Um, and what we'll do in episode four next is get down to Riverwood, uh, meet Delphine, which will start the Diplomatic Immunity quest, which I think, if I remember correctly, is the one that takes you all the way up to Solitude and then to the Thalmor Embassy, which is like around here, where you've got to like break into the Thalmor Embassy, which is a, it's quite a good uh, quest, I think. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I hope you enjoy this episode. Uh, I feel like we've got through quite a lot in this episode. We've advanced the... Uh, quite quite a bit uh, further into the story which is nice so um, yeah I've been uh, Mike the Gaming Dad and I will see you next time